All those who saw, saw through, saw the truth, saw the, the underlying matter that was here, and have come out and shown their support and their love, and have continued to love regardless of all the hate that's all around us. The family is, you know, obviously we're saddened by the whole process, but we're extremely grateful that uh, there was leniency. We feel there was some leniency granted, for sure, um, and. Um, you know, she gets to be with her kids. That was the biggest concern. It's unfortunate that we're, we're really sad that, uh, that David has to go, you know, for the four months. But um, I feel like he, he did state very clearly that he would have done anything different if he could have, if he could have turned back the clocks, like anything, he would have given anything. And to me, that's, that's willing to change, including if that meant taking the child to the doctor, if that's what they're asking for. I, I feel that would have been the admission. Maybe he didn't say the magic words they were looking for, but... Um, you know, we're, we're still grateful for, could have been a lot worse, like I said. It's not a personal disappointment for either of us. We'll need to take some time to review and digest and consider. There have been numerous cases where parents and caregivers have been found guilty of failing to provide necessaries. It is the exact same standard in every case. It will continue to be the exact same standard until and unless Parliament enacts new legislation.